this is Intuitive Edge. So I would like to start off by doing our reading for February 2019. I'd like to look at what we're going to be, what sectors we're going to look at are the political, financial, society, um, what we're releasing, what we're gaining, what's taking shape, and the lesson that we'll learn. So let's take a moment and I'm going to shuffle up the cards. And then I will be right back and we'll get started. So I shuffled up the cards. We're going to cut the deck. Societal and financial. Ooh, okay. See what's crossing each of these. The strength and wisdom of the Queen of Cups. And it's crossed by, and crossing can be either seen as a roadblock or a stepping stone, depending on the card. We have the High Priestess, which adds. Some wisdom, listening to your, your higher wisdom and higher intuition. Uh, it looks like there's going to be some of that coming into politics, which may turn out to be nice. If we have our the strong energy of the queen with some wisdom coming in with it. A positive influence. Um, that we haven't really been seeing in the realm of politics in the last few months. It's been very divisive, very hateful. Um, you know, it's like one side or the other and lots of bickering. And this is like, this is like a higher wisdom coming in. Maybe seeing things from a better perspective or a higher perspective, getting some intuitive wisdom coming in. Be through through a female, possibly, with the queen and the high priestess. Adds a little bit of that femi divine feminine energy to it. Um, but regardless, it's going to be a, a time, it looks like, of being a little more self-reflective and using inner wisdom when viewing the world of politics. That's, that's interesting. Society in general, we have the king of cups. Again, interesting, we have the queen and the king. It's crossed by the five of cups, which is a card of kind of like having to face some loss or some sadness or dealing, you know, and I feel like it's related to this wisdom because they're they're pointing at each other. Um, it seems to me that some wisdom is going to come in in the political realm and how it affects society is going to kind of Turn some things upside down a little bit. And it has to do with the king. This could literally be relating to Donald Trump, possibly. Um, but regardless, it's there's some there's an aspect of the king, that kingly energy is strong, but some loss or sadness or feeling like like things kind of turned upside down. Like expecting one thing regarding this kingly energy and whether that is literally a kingly figure or not. Um, but it's it's feeling like there's there's something that turned turned upside down for people in society as a whole in general. Um, something turned up on its head. Uh, something is something is there and there's a lot of um I, I I feel like some pissed off energy with it. Some angry. I see some people really angry. Like uh like even to the point of throwing things or being being really outspoken or um like they're like they don't know how to process it. Through a, a real it's almost like depression setting in or 
anger, frustration at the way something turned out. Like, it, if it does have to do with the president, this energy is strong and upright. And I'm wondering if maybe Donald Trump will be, well, he'll finally um, come through like a difficult thing that that has society, members of society, not everyone, not all of us. Um, but it's gonna, it's gonna cause some withdrawal or some, some anger. I just, I feel like, uh, just an anger, like a ragey anger. Well, if this is talking about the president, which I think it is, um, this energy feels really good. It feels, you know, it's, it's upright. It's like these got, this is a, okay, like in the picture here, we see this energy of this king. Like, it's like making an offering. Um, whether something will ha will turn turn around for the president and in his favor, I think, it's going to cause some people to be upset about it, however. Now, finances. Now, initially, we threw out the tower card, and that was a little unsettling because the tower usually means, you know, something coming apart at the seams or having some difficulty. Um, it, it is, you know, there are many that are speculating that the economy is going to undergo some shifts and some changes and that not everything is, you know, is going to be rosy um, because we're going to be changing from one dimension of doing things to another. It's going through a shift like we all are, but the financial realm especially. And the, I think the tower is kind of signifying that, that there might be some, some shifting or some changing, perhaps with the Fed raising rates or something that's going to cause some um, unsettled, perhaps some difficulty, challenges. And we have a knight, which is a messenger. So I think that there is something that we don't know right now, that as things unfold, you know, in a couple of weeks, when February gets here, <laughs> that things will unfold in such a way that we'll kind of start to to see what what this message is about with the things coming apart or the or difficulty or challenges in the realm of the financial it, it, when when I talk about this this change that we're going through um ultimately it doesn't feel like it like it's it's it may be unsettling or difficult but sometimes getting from one thing to another we have to morph through some changes and it may not feel good right at the moment or there may be some real difficulties in the moment but when you're on the other side of it things will be much better and that's how I that's how I generally feel when it comes to what what we're going through with the the shift in society and changes in general that eventually we'll we'll get to the other side of it and things will be much better off but when you're right in the middle of that chaotic change it can really be um difficult okay i'm gonna move these up here we're gonna look at the past this is what we are releasing what we're letting go of what what's fading into the past and we have the the wheel of destiny and things that are that are slated to happen and this is what the wheel reverse is like things don't feel like they're happening as they should or feeling like things are impeded or feeling like there's like we want forward progress but things are are being um back like held up or backed up and If, if this is like, that's what's leaving is that energy of feeling stuck or backed up or that things aren't moving like they should or flowing according to, you know, the dictates of what, what's coming like karma and that kind of thing. Um, so I think that energy of feeling stuck is what's leaving. So that means that perhaps this is what is coming <laughs> is the positive energies of the medicine wheel that that energy of give and take that's coming back around.
card, kind of what's what are we gaining? What's taking shape now? Now, the High Priest is a card of belonging. It's a card of conformity to a group. It's kind of the card of groupthink or being aligned with um, aligned with a being like in the inner circle, a member of the club. We have this reversal. This is kind of like doing things your own way. Um, seeing through the veil of um, conformity and being kind of that cliquish kind of feel. This is like seeing through that, getting on the other side of it. People are going to start to maybe see things a little differently and see through perhaps who is who who kind of runs things who who kind of runs the show um and getting some wisdom about it let's see what uh what the overall lesson is what are, what will we learn this is all about power personal power taking back power and I think for um, a lot of years, we, in general speaking, general terms, have kind of let this energy of being in the club or the clique kind of do things, um, speak for people. I think this is about people taking back their power, um, people being more mindful and not just assuming that the, you know, that, for instance, the, the people who are elected or are in, acting in our best interest, for instance. It's like being part of, you know, taking back your power re sometimes requires getting back into um, being more mindful about what's happening in your world and not just just ignoring it and and thinking oh other people are taking care of it we we all have a a part to play in creating our future and creating the world we want to live in and i think a lot of us and i i'm not trying to pick on anybody i'm just saying in general um some people have just been maybe a little lackadaisical about about their role and they just you know they elect their representatives and they just you know leave it to them to do everything without really paying attention to what's going on and to what kind of world they're creating. And then it's compounded when, you know, when people, um, you know, when they don't really know anything other than what's on the news um, without really getting involved and caring about the process. I think that's changing a little bit. And it, I think we'll be learning that taking personal action and, and, taking personal power is really an important piece of creating the world we want. We can't just leave it to, to everybody else. Um, okay. So what's underneath this is um, not wanting to... There's a... Again, with this four... Feeling similar to that five energy over there, that that feeling of like sadness or feeling like you have to like deal with frustration. Um, this is like refusing an offering. So I'm wondering if of opportunity to set new goals to forge ahead and to see the possibilities that we have and learning who you take things from and how you relate to the world around you. Um, but there's, there's this aspect of, of wanting something but not wanting what you're given. So it's also learning to be content with, with what is and to work with what is. 
um, it's important to dream and have goals, but it's also important to ground in the real world and work with what is. It's kind of a blending of the two in order to create what you want in life. Um, if you stay in your head and dream all the time, then and don't take action, things don't get done. So it's a blend of of working with what you've got, taking what you what you're being given, and working with it, and affecting change by taking back your power. Okay, um, I think that's it for this reading. I appreciate you stopping by my channel. If you like to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, if you want to. And I'll catch you next time. This is Intuitive Edge, signing out. Hope everybody's doing well. Bye-bye.